Hey everyone, uh, Elder here from eldermars.com and today I'm going to show you uh, some basics related to containers, especially with Docker. Uh, Docker is not the only implementation of containers, but uh, we can say that may maybe it is the most used, most famous. So we are going to cover here today Docker. So if you are just trying on uh, trying out containers for the first time, you are just a beginner. Uh, I'm gonna show you today some comments, some uh, comments, some options for uh, starting and stopping containers, and some extra comments also. So let's change the scene here. So first, uh, to start a container, you need to have a pre-built image. I'm not gonna cover it today here. So I have an image pre-built here. So let's Create a container for, well, let's not create. Let's run the container right away, okay? So I have one image, so I will create a container, run a container from it, okay? So Docker run code with part code. Uh, so I have an image here created from uh, application based on Quarkus, and I will just run the container here. Okay, so it's ready. Okay, started here in 1.328 seconds, and my container is running. Okay, but if I go here to my, it's not answering. Okay, um, well, let's con the control C. My container is stopped. Why it stopped? Because the process was attached to my terminal. Okay, so let's check the container is here. Docker PS, it, this is the command to check your containers. Where's my container? So, because the Docker PS will only list the active containers. So we need to give the minus A, all containers. Oh, okay, so my container is here and it is stopped. Here is the so can we start this container? Yes, of course. And here, get the ID, docker, start. Okay, so now my container is running. If I run the docker ps again, right there. Okay. So let's try again. Oh, it's not answering. Hmm. Why is it not answering? Because it's running. Okay. And one thing that is uh, important to see, this name, where did, the hell they got this name? Okay, as I didn't specify the name, Docker will create a name for your container. I don't know from where, but no, it's not the, the, the matter here today. Okay, so why my container is not still answering here? Because I didn't expose any port. If I go here to the container, Docker logs, and that container, sweet capi, capizza. Okay. Uh, we can see that there is a port here where my, my container is running, but how does it that work? The application inside the container has this port, but the container itself, it's another layer, the port is not exposed. So we need to expose that port. So let's change it here. So I will create another container in order to show it to you. So docker run. Now I'm gonna specify a name because I don't like oh, docker to choose the names for me. So we'll specify a name, code with Marcus. And I will expose a port, okay? So the minus P, 8080, 8080. And I still need to specify the image base. So, ready, okay, started to 0.5 seconds. Let's check if the container is answering. Yes, answering. Uh, so let's stop here. Oh, my container stopped it. How, how the heck I, I avoid to keep my containers being stopped? Okay, why are creating? Because if I go here, Docker, of course, is not here. 
because it stopped it, so I have two containers. Okay, so how I create container without attaching the process to the terminal so I can close the terminal or whatever and it's still running. So we got this same command docker run name. I will create another name. I will expose another port because I can't have two containers using the same port. And I will also add the NSD. It's detached. Okay, so the process is detached from the terminal. So I need to use another port. Okay, the container is there. And but now well, you, you can complain, but well, but now I can't see the logs, what's happening. Yes, you can. You can go Docker logs, minus F. Uh, yes, F logs. Hold with Marcus. There you go. The box. Okay. Now I can go and and, and uh, use the minus the control C and without stopping the container, just stopping the, the process for this command. Okay. So if I go here, uh, PS. The active minus a the active and the others okay all right so now uh, I prom promise you how to start how to stop I showed some other stuff here how we stop so let's check what the containers that are active uh, we'll get this 8081 port that is my browser and I will stop this container. So docker stop Okay, so if I go the browser, okay, it's not ready and uh, If uh, other way that we have to stop is docker stop with name so I got this sweet pizza <laughs> and stop this container. Okay, so if I run again Docker PS no active containers. Here, all the containers. Okay. And one extra uh, knowledge here for you today. I can, two, two extra knowledge. Uh, we can start because I just show you Docker run. Or I'll show Docker start. Whatever. We'll show right now Docker start. So the container is already created because when you use Docker run, it will create the container and start the container. You can separate if you if you if you like. You can run Docker create and will create as not start and then go Docker start. Docker run will do the both. Okay, so I can use Docker start here and start the container. Okay, it's running. Uh, and what I can do right now it's remove containers. So this all of them. And I will show you two stuff. So Docker RM hold with Quarkus 2. Okay. And I can do uh, a batch removal. <laughs> so Docker RM and Docker PS all minus Q. Minus Q we will return just the ID of the content. So I can remove like that and it will complain because I have one container running so I can't remove the container if it is running. Well actually I can if I use the minus F. So don't do that at home, okay? So make sure what you are doing but yes you can use that and it will force. Okay, so it just uh, remove the container. Okay, so real quickly here how to start, how to run, how to stop, and how to remove container. See you next time. Bye-bye.